Hey guys, Ponce here on the PVE, here to talk to you guys about some of the weirder runes in the whole reworked rune and mastery system. Uh, now keep in mind this isn't all the new or even all the weird stuff, it's just what I want to talk about here right now. Uh, and also keep in mind that this is so early that some of the stuff may be changed or outright taken out of the game before it actually hits live. Because, yeah, some of the stuff's really weird. For example, Hex Flash, which I'm going to show you in a bit, I have it on pretty good authority uh, that it is horrendously overpowered in real gameplay situations. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, first, let's start off with Kleptomancy. This is a keystone rune uh, in the Inspiration tree. So uh, you have to take key, uh, Inspiration as your primary tree, and then you're allowed to select this thing. Uh, so let's just read it off. After casting a spell, your next attack grants bonus gold. It grants five gold. Um, there's a chance you'll be also gain a consumable. And as you'll see some of the consumables you have access to here. This is not all of them. For example, um, in doing this in a while, I've collected a Pilfered Stealth Ward, um, Looted Biscuit of Rejuvenation, which, uh, this is kind of interesting. Restores 15% of your missing health and mana over 15 seconds. Gives 40 max mana permanently. So if I were to con consume that, I'd gain 40 mana. Um, there's this thing here, Sack of Gold, Consume... Uh, click to consume contains anywhere between 20 to 100 gold you can also sell it back to the merchant for 55 flat so if you want don't want to like gamble on it uh, next we have a control ward I just picked up a control ward mana potions you guys remember those things health potion earlier I even got something called I think it was elixir of skill or something like that it gave me a free skill point um, mind you I am currently max level so it's not like you can over cap it it's just you gain access to a high level skill earlier on which seems really good um, I don't know if that was super rare and I got super lucky or if that's going to get taken out of the game or what, but that seemed a little bit silly. Uh, so let me show you how this functions. Let's get rid of some of our stuff here. So let's just put a control ward down so we have some space. Oh, why don't we click on the sack? What do we get? 80 gold. So we beat the average. So uh, yeah, literally any spell you cast, next attack will, as you see, I get 5 gold. There is some kind of a t internal cooldown. It seems to be about 2 seconds-ish. It doesn't say that in the tooltip, but... Oh, we just stole something out of the sack of gold, so I'll show you the alternative. Uh, we can just sell this thing for 55. So we get 55 gold from that. Let's keep doing this for a little bit, see if we can get anything of note. Oh, that was quick. What did I get there? I think I got a, a ward? I'm not sure what... Oh, no, no, I got, I got another biscuit. That's what it was. Whoa, what the hell is this thing? That's new. Oh, a farsight ward. Okay. Actually, I'm getting kind of lucky since I started filming. Let's see if we can get anything else. Because I, I, for a while I was going like a really long time not getting... Man, apparently just filming ups the, uh, the drop rate on these things. Normally it wasn't this high. Anyway, uh, let's move on to something else. So let's do Ultimate Hat next. This is a, a regular rune or one of the lesser runes in uh, the Sorcery Tree. So I'll just read it out. Your ultimate cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds. This number is increased by 2% each time your ultimate goes on cooldown, stacks up to 5 times. So I already have 5 stacks on it, so I have 15% cooldown reduction on my ultimate, which does stack with your regular cooldown reduction. Um, let me just show you guys. Let's get rid of some of our stuff here so I have some space. I'm going to purchase some cooldown reduction items. So uh, you give 20 and you also give 20, so that's good enough. Turn this off so I can show you guys. Um, so yeah, currently... My, wait a minute, it don't look right. Oh, I'm at 35%, that's never mind. Oh, that's a stinger, not a, <laughs> my bad. So we're at 45 now. So you can see wild growth is at 37.4 seconds, and it's normally 80 seconds. Now, for those of you who are really quick at math, might note that that's a little bit off. It should actually be lower than that. That's because magic hat and regular cooldown reduction are not additive. They are multiplicative, uh, meaning the 40, or rather, whatever your cooldown reduction is, your base cooldown reduction or your real cooldown reduction is, that comes first. That'll lower your... Um, your alt cooldown to whatever it's supposed to lower it down to, and then after that, the new number. So well, let's do a bit of math here, so it's just easier to illustrate. So uh, normally, Lulu... So uh, let me change to... You guys can see that a bit better. So this is a, my calculator. So normally, Lulu alt is 80 seconds, right? So 40% cooldown reduction would be times 0.4. Uh, so we re reduce um, cooldown reduction by 32. So 80 minus... 32 equals, so the new cooldown reduction, wait, let me restart, sorry, my bad, I messed something up there. So 80 times by uh, 0.45 equals 36, there we go, sorry, because uh, I have 45 cooldown reduction. And then so um, 80 minus 36, 
the cooldown reduction would be 44 seconds. Now on top of that, it is uh, 15 extra cooldown reduction on it. So 44 times by 0.15, it would reduce it by 6.6. .6. So uh, we have 44 minus 6.6 .6 equals 37.4. Now the numbers match up. So um, yeah, just keep in mind, it will get your alt cooldowns very, very low when stacked with regular cooldown reduction. So you guys might have some ideas there from stuff like Lux, et cetera, et cetera, who will like have really low cooldown reduction or, you know, even champions that reset off of it. But yeah, if it was just straight up um, 45, so it, it was just straight up, you know, multi additive and it was 60 cooldown reduction, it would have been times by 0.6. So it would have re reduced it by 48, so 80 minus 48. Would have been 32 which is you know not massively different but keep in mind that that's how the math does work all right so that is magic hat for you guys next let's move on to uh hextech flash traption god that is really hard to say while flash is on cooldown it is replaced by hex flash hex flash channel for two seconds to blink to a new location cooldown 20 seconds goals on a 10 second cooldown when you enter champion combat so uh let's Oh, it's already off. Okay, so I'm going to use my flash. And uh, just to speed things up, let's just auto-refresh the cooldown there. Note, on um, the training mode, the auto-refresh thing doesn't actually bring the cool, the flash cooldown back. Uh, it just, it'll refresh hex flash. But anyway, this is how it works. You hold it, and this is the max release right there. So it'll it's roughly, or rather, possibly exactly the same distance as flash. But you can uh, also flash shorter distances if you really want to. And if you release it immediately, it doesn't do anything. So it looks like you have to, at the very least, pass this initial threshold there. Um, if you move your mouse around it, it gets a little bit buggy, actually. It doesn't show you the uh, the distance you would be going. But If you uh, hold the mouse outside the circle, it will show you the exact distance you will go. So it's probably easier to um, do it that way and not hold it too close to yourself, because then it kind of glitches out a bit. Anyway, I don't know if that'll get fixed or what, but uh, there you have it. Those are the three uh, runes that I wanted to show you guys today. Very interesting s stuff going on there. Um, I don't know how this is going to fit into the greater scheme game, you know, rather balance-wise how it'll fit into the, the greater scheme of the game, but uh, certainly some interesting stuff going on there. Um, there are a lot of very powerful runes. But uh, yeah, these are some of the weirder ones. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I probably have to go stream, uh, most likely after uploading this video on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv. But uh, yeah, see you guys around. Goodbye.